I think it'll be a little while. Um, so, again, the Southern Heritage Classic is canceled for 2020. This is the first Division One football game that has been canceled due to the current pandemic. And for those that are curious, this happens in Memphis every year. It's the second weekend in September. And it's a pretty big deal. They big routine, deal. They routinely draw 50,000 people to the game. But the reason why it's being canceled, like this is the FCS. This is a lower level. They don't have the television contracts. They don't have all that kind of stuff. This thing draws about 75,000 people to the city of Memphis. And they yep. are partying all over the city. They have Big parades. Talk. They have tail like gigantic tailgates. They have yes. all kinds of different stuff. Uh, Matt said, man, Bill Street is nuts after that game. Yeah, that's the thing. So because the COVID-19 cases are going back up right now, uh, and it's not a ton, but the numbers make it not look good. You're not going to be able to meet um you're not going to be able to meet your your budgets and whatnot if people are not going to be able to come in town for the game there's no sense in playing the game at a neutral site if you can't have tv if you can't have full stands if you can't have all of the different things that are going on around it all of the after party events everything else so that is why the game had to be canceled uh fred jones who is the organizer of it you know, he he obviously did not want to cancel it. But it is the smartest thing in this situation because even if you only have half of the uh, the Liberty Bowl full, like you're still not going to be able to meet your costs for everything that would have to go into the actual game, right? And, and Birmingham mm-hmm. has one too called uh, the Magic City Classic, and there's all sorts of stuff. Um, Michael said it's going to hurt those businesses in Memphis again. They probably thought this would boost their business. Uh, well, it, it, yeah, I mean, Memphis lost, which I guess everybody in the country lost something. But yeah. this is big festival time. I mean, Memphis in May, now losing this. That's a that's a lot of money. Yes, they're they're talking about doing Memphis in May in October. And they've got Bill Street Music Festival planned for October. But I, I don't know how they're going to do it. Like, it just it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. I would not be upset with that because the weather would be spectacular. Being somebody who's out there cooking all the time in May always sucks. Yeah, it, it's either hot or raining in May, yes. like always is. So now we'll see, but uh, but yeah, very interesting stuff coming out of that. So first college football game that has been uh, canceled due to the coronavirus. So. Uh, the, the quote from Fred Jones, the health and safety of our attendees is, uh, along with that of our staff, sponsors, and others, is a top priority, said Fred Jones. I encourage everyone to keep practicing safety and social distancing measures so that we can return to our usual activities as soon as possible. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a disappointment. It's big, big uh, drop-off for, uh, for Memphis. But uh, Michael said, just let adults be adults. I'm sick of them making decisions for people. Uh, let people go if they want to. It's frustrating. Yeah, I, I mean, I get where you're coming from, but I also know, you know, it better to be safe. And if you cut it down to to half of the attendance or something like that, um, <laughs> yeah, you cut it down to that. It- 